Did you see her outfit? Yes. Total trailer trash. They live down by the highway in, like, the worst area. You know, I don't even know why people like that go to school. You know they're just gonna end up in jail or working at some donut shop or something. <laughs> I hear her mother is a cleaning woman. Hey, does she do windows? <laughs> Yes, 11.03, please. Hello? Joanne? Hi, sweetheart. So did you get it? Yeah. Closed the book deal last night. <laughs> what? I I'm sorry. I, I was just thinking. What's the matter, Joanne? Uh, I, I think I'm going to go back after all. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I think it's important for all of us. Lydia, your dad wants to talk to you. Dad says I have to go with you on this trip. That's right. Why can't I just stay here? No. There's something I need to show you. Something you need to see. It's my summer vacation. Go pack. But, Mom... Do it. You're kidding, right? No. Why don't you ever talk about this place? I mean, I'd never even seen a picture before. Look like the kind of place you'd want to remember. Yeah, but it wasn't as bad as this, was it? Was it? I was born in this room. feed. It's a girl. Don't matter to me. And tell us who the father is. I told you, Daddy, I don't know. Forty's never had no bastard children. He ain't about to stop. Hey, what are you planning to do? I'm about to buy her for anything. You can't sell a baby, eh? Hey? Just watch me. You just take care of our Bobby. It's the only baby that's gonna be in this house.
Damn. What's he doing? Well, here we go. dump the entire batch. I don't care about the liquor, but you can't just leave a baby by the side of the road. What was I supposed to do? Hell's that? There's a note. What's it say? God is watching and so am I. What did I tell you? Be. Hank, if you go to jail... I'm not going to jail, woman. The cops have been here already. I should give it back to Marie for now. Food in this. Sorry, but you didn't make enough money. I still gotta eat. Grown man's gotta eat, woman. Bobby, I don't like being your wife. Let's play a different game. No woman's gonna tell me what game I'm gonna play. You understand? Don't sound the same coming out of you as it does coming out of Grandpa. It will. Got to be in school, Hank. It's the law. Uh, you know us foldy, simple folk. But they're gonna learn that, they ain't gonna learn here. How to read? School starts at eight, make sure they're on time. Yes, sir. We'll surely do it. It might be all right. There's a lot of uppity ideas in their heads. Don't you want him to be something more than the bootlegger for the rest of his life? Well, you think I chose this? I like to live like this? No, Hank, but Bobby needs his chance. All right, this start tomorrow. Don't need the sheriff snooping around here. I'm doing. You're sitting close to Carl. We're about to be dancing. Okay then. Dre, come on, we'll dance. Step on. Well, don't get his shoes dirty. Soldiers are supposed to have clean shoes. It's all right. Are we going to Kokomo? We sure are. Good. I hope it's far away. Oh, it is, and it's beautiful there. Don't be putting ideas into her head. Joanne, there ain't no such place as Kokomo. Yes, there is, and the three of us are gonna go there. Carl, now she's gonna be talking about Kokomo every second of every minute. No, I won't. Don't lie to a soldier, he'll arrest you. Will you? Come on while I'm dancing with you, come on.
Go. We'll get in trouble if you don't. What's the matter? He's going to school and you're going with him. School? You know what school is, don't you? Yes, Grandpa. You make sure nothing happens to Bobby. Here, take my lucky rabbit's foot. If you get scared, take the foot, spin three times and make a wish. Lord have mercy, woman. I think he's an idiot. Well, don't matter if it makes him feel better. All right, all right, let the boy go. It ain't like he's going off to war. You won't let nothing happen to him, will you, darling? Uh, no, ma'am. Go on, go on. <laughs> Foley's. Well, my name is Mrs. Kinney. What is your first name? She stays with me. Girls in one door, boys in the other. That's the rules. She couldn't get in trouble if she don't. Wait! Big trouble. I gotta make sure nothing happens to him. Nothing is gonna happen to him. But... Uh, can't let him out of my sight. Joanne and Bobby, please stand. In class, I want to introduce you to two new students. Joanne and Bobby Foley. I can't go to this school. Oh, why is that? Because me and my mama and Carl are going to Kokomo. Oh, you are? That's right. So I have to go to the school there. Well, where is Kokomo? Far away. Do you want to show us where it is on the map of the world? No. If you show me where Kokomo is, I'll know that you don't need to learn and I'll let you go home. Now you show us where Kokomo is. Are you sure that's Kokomo? Well, Miss Foley, you seem to have a few things left to learn because you have not pointed to Kokomo. You've pointed to China. <laughs> now, Joanne... Now, class, be quiet. Shh. Tell Grandma and Grandpa that, that I let them take you away from me. I'll think about it. Don't, Bobby. The birds are pretty. Shut up, Joanne. I can do what I want. Joanne, wait for me. You want me to tell? Oh, now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, now. Children, y'all waiting on us? What do you think, old horsey? Can we give him a ride? Y'all want a ride? Up there? Right up here, right here. Well, okay. Uh, that's right, big cap. There you come. Uh, all right. What's your name? I'm Joanne. This is Bobby. I'm her uncle. Mm, uncle, huh? Okay, old horsey, let's go home. Easy now, come on. Go along. Hey. Come on, horse, you're too slow. Hey, hey, hey. Don't shout at old horsey. He's doing us a favor. He was mean to the birds, too, throwing rocks at them. My pa says horses ain't doing us no favors. It's supposed to do their work and they don't eat. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Now, I'm going to draw the line with you right now, boy. I ain't gonna let you ride nowhere with me anymore until you learn how. Now, get down. Who the hell you think you are telling me what to do? I don't like having to tell anybody what to do. But I think the best thing for you is to get on home. So get down. You ain't nothing but a crap in the pinch nigger. 
Well, how'd you get so mean in so short a time? Joanne, get off that wagon and come home with me. Joanne! You be that way now, Joanne, but you gotta come home. Come on, Horsey, get up. Maybe you'd best be getting on home. Your people are probably waiting supper for you. What is she doing? Too tall? Look like you done found yourself a good little help along the roadside. Well, maybe that's her way of saying thank you. Maybe. You're gonna be in a lot of trouble if you don't get on home. No more trouble for me. Me and my mama are going to Kokomo. 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 All right. <laughs> Where's Joanne? She didn't stay with you? No, sir, she didn't. She let them take me away at school and she didn't even care. Where is she now? The old broken down drunk man. She what? What is the matter with you? You let her stay there? He chased me away. She stuck with him, not me. It's not my fault, Pa. Get inside. You do good work. And I want you to have these two pennies, hmm? So there. And I appreciate the help that you gave me. Maybe you should keep them. Oh, no, baby. That's yours. Now, we's going in and eat supper now, and you best do the same. All right? Go on home now. Go on. Go on. Too tall. I'm worried about that child. She just about the strangest tack I ever done come across. I don't know if she's all that strange. A little scared, maybe. She is quiet, though. She's too quiet for me. I know something wrong with that child. It's hanging over her like a cloud. Well, you're just fussing because she didn't take you right off. No, that ain't it. It's something wrong when a child is too quiet. And I'll tell you something else. I ain't never seen that child smile. And I know something wrong when a child don't smile back at me. Lord, honey. Well, all I know is she's as nice as she can be yeah. and one of the best little workers I've ever seen. Make sure Joe ain't get something to eat. Where are you going? I'm going where I'm going. Joanne, come on over to the table. Your mama wants you to eat. Well, she don't want to eat with us. She wants to eat with them niggas, don't you, Joanne? What? Yeah, that's right. 
Bobby told me the whole thing. Now, you didn't look after him, did you? I, I tried. Uh-huh. Well, let me show you what happens if people don't do what I tell them. Now, you eat with the dogs tonight. Maybe next time you try a little harder. But, but Grip, I, I, I'm starving. Well, you best not let the dogs run off with your dinner. What is it? Somebody in the garden. Shall I get my rifle? No, no. Come here and look at this. She must be starving. Uh, let me go out here and see what I can do. Wait, child. Don't run off. Ain't nobody here gonna hurt you. Come on back. Come inside. You listen to your old grandma now. You gotta stay clear of your grandpa for a while. You do that and things will get better, I promise. Uh, am I gonna have to sleep out here all night? No, hon. I'll get that worked out, but you gotta help me. You gotta be on your best behavior, all right? Uh, all right. Grandma, how come grandpa hates me so much? Oh, he don't hate you, little bug. He's just got a bad temper. It won't last. You do as I say, and we'll all be fine. Thanks for breakfast. Our secret. Now, on the way home from school, I want you to stop by the preacher's house and get a dozen eggs from his wife. OK. Foley. Grandma sent me for a dozen eggs. That right. Does she know she hadn't paid me for the last three dozen she got? If I go back with no eggs... You'll get a whooping. Yes, ma'am. You like flowers? I, I do. Flowers is how God laughs. Really? It's true. I'll get the eggs for you. And you pick a flower. Take it with you. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm.
those are real nice eggs. And a flower, too. Is they for me? Well, I, I, I took some tomatoes from your garden last night, and I'm sorry. I, I wanted to pay you back. Oh, ain't no need for that. Come on inside. We'll make something real nice for us to eat. It's all right. Sit down. Sit on down. We're going to make us something good at these eggs. I'm not hungry. Well, you look hungry. If I tell people I'm hungry, I'll get in trouble. Well, you don't have to tell me you're hungry. Just tell me how much you like the biscuits. Now, I'll take this right here. And I want you to stir this till it's nice and smooth. Oh, no, darling. No, wait, sweetheart. No, just sweetheart. You got to hold the bowl in one hand and take the spoon in the other hand. You don't have to stir hard. Just make it nice and smooth. See how smooth this is getting? You're doing a good job there. Well, looks like we got us a guess. That's right. We're making biscuits. <laughs> you are? Come on in, Too Tall. We're going to have us a tea party. Oh, sounds good to me. You's a good cook, huh, baby? When you and your mama going to Kokomo? Oh, I think pretty soon. Well, I reckon you won't mind going. Uh, I reckon not. Well, now listen to me, baby. When you get there, I want you to remember to listen and learn. Listen to everything. You got good, sharp ears, so you ain't gonna have no trouble at all teaching yourself to learn. You just listen and learn from everything, you see. And if you got a problem, you talk to somebody got some sense. And then you think about it, you think about it, and you decide what you want to do. It's best to make your own mistakes in this life. Because then, if you do make a mess, it's your mess. You understand what I'm saying to you? Come on, let's go in the house. You're telling you lies about me, Carl. No, I heard it from fellas in the barracks that I trust. You'd believe anybody before you'd believe me. But this is no joke, Marie. You don't understand. This is real trouble. No, please, please don't go. Please believe me before you believe them. I tried to shut my eyes to a lot, Marie. I wanted to take you away from all this. I tried to convince myself that it was only your family that was trash. But the truth is, you're no different. Then go. Go, damn you. Get out. You think you're the only man in the world? No, that's the trouble, Marie. I know I'm not. And I know you take money to do what you're supposed to do for love. Yeah, what do you know about love? You talk about it real good, but you don't know anything. Get out! <laughs> Don't worry about him, Joanne. I like him. You can't like nobody like him. He sees something wrong in everything. He don't care how people got to get by. He just cares how it looks. Well, surviving ain't always pretty, no matter how much makeup you put on it. Guess we ain't going to Kokobo. I reckon we ain't. So, you ain't going to Kokomo, huh? Well, that ain't the worst thing. What letter is that? Uh, uh, B. Right. Now, you make it. Very good. Now, you see how easy that is? Out here, it's easy. But in school, with everybody watching, expecting you to get it wrong, I, I forget. Well, the next time, 
You take that piece of chalk just like it's this stick. And you look at that blackboard just like it's this dirt. And you think about old honey. And you'll get it. Because you's right smart. I can tell that about you. You's right smart. Yes, you is too. Joanne? Class. Now we are all here to learn. Now we need to do what we can to help Joanne. Go ahead. to the joint? Well, now, just because I put on makeup don't mean I'm going to the joint. Uh, ain't makeup what you put on before you're going out to have a good time? I ain't doing nothing bad if that's what you're worried about. If it ain't bad, then why can't you tell me? Because what I do outside this house belongs to me, just to me. It's like I ain't a Foley anymore. I pretend I've got a big, fine house and a shiny new car. That's a life I want. And I go out and I live it, even if it's just for a little while. It's like a secret. Don't you got a secret? Maybe. Joanne, you got a secret? No, Mama. Before you be going with them. Says who? Says Pa. So it don't mean nothing. Nothing but money. I saw you sneaking back from the junk man's farm. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did, and I'm gonna tell Pa. Uh, I'll say it's a lie. And believe me before you. Bobby, please don't tell him. What do you give me if I don't? Uh, I'll give you money. You ain't got no money. Yes, I do. Just promise. Go and get your money. Promise. I promise. Remember you promise. Now. Listen, don't you hear them calling? Who? Oh. These tomatoes is talking to us. What are they saying, honey? They saying, we's ready. Come on and get us. They saying, where's that little gal and that old man that's been waiting and watching for us so they could pick us? Well, we's ripe. Why don't they come on and pick us? But don't it hurt them, honey? To be picked up and eaten like that? <laughs> no, child. That's their place in this world. You see, God made them to be eat up. He, he made them to be food for his cherry. You see, everything God makes has a place and a time. You see, that's why we has to use up all the stuff he done sent us. You see, mm -hmm. show as God makes you. He got a job in mind for you. Don't even bother if he don't. Cause, cause God don't like no waste. And he don't like no wastefulness. Makes him sad. Makes him cry like a baby. God cries? Oh, sure he does. Child, ain't nothing wrong with a few tears. Sometimes, sometimes them tears, they have passed the pain away. Get off! Stop! Say, Uncle White Trash. I ain't no white trash. <laughs> Nobody. You said you're sorry. All right, all right. Nobody's white trash. Are you sorry like you mean it? Oh, I'm sorry.
Bobby? Now, I told you to look out for Bobby. I did. Then how'd you get a black eye? Uh, it wasn't my fault, Grandpa. The, the bullet was whooping him before I got there. And then I laid into him. Is that right? I, I whooped the stuffing out of him, just to ask Bobby. Did you make him cry? O almost. Well, you're a tough little squirt, ain't you? I I'm foley. Well, that's right, you are. And you proved it today, didn't you? Good for you, Joanne, good for you. I'm thinking of going down the river later, do some fishing. You want to come along? Uh, sure. What about me? Well, you can stay here with the women folk. Here, let me. It's squirming. I know. That's what makes them so delicious. To the fish, I mean. Grandpa, how long have you been coming down here to go fishing? Oh, Lordy. Since I was as young as you, I guess. You a little like me? Well, it's hard to believe, I know, but your grandpa wasn't always a crooked leg moonshiner. There was a day. A day when the world was at my feet. That could have been anything. Foley's were respected in this county. It's true. When Papa died, and I had my accident in the cotton gin. And things went bad after that. But it'll get better. You sound like your grandma. She's made me believe it, too. But the older you get, the more you realize. The day came and went. Well, don't just sit there. If you're gonna fish, fish. Turning this rope and you ain't even jumping? Look, honey, don't hurry me. I have to get this just right. Don't make the girl do what she don't want to do, honey. Will you butt out of this too tall? It's not so easy to butt out when I'm sitting right here watching. Now, Joanne, this rope is all your troubles, and they're going to keep coming around, so you're going to have to learn how to jump over them so they won't trip you. Now, come on, you got to do it. Man's got to help himself. Uh, we got to help ourselves too, honey, us women. Child, we's all the same in God's eyes, men and women's. Girls too, honey? <laughs> Girls too. Cows too, honey? Yes, cows too. <laughs> roosters too? Yeah, roosters too. I'm scared of your rooster. Oh, he ain't nothing but some old fluff and feathers. Look how she jumping too tall, and you told me don't make her do something she don't want to do. Sometimes I'd like to put a stamp on your butt and mail you off somewhere. But where will we find a box big enough to fit him in? <laughs> you old rooster? You hear me? You scared this child? You gonna end up in my stew pot. And I ain't playing. Now these hens may be bowing down to you, but you mess with this child, you be sitting on my dinner table. He ain't gonna bother you. Just gonna hold you until the bad comes Let out of you. Go. Help us, Father. What are you pretending, honey? Oh, you're my baby. You're my, baby. You're my baby. I ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. The rest of us to kill me, honey. What am I supposed to do about that? Listen, you just don't look him in the eye. 
You act like he ain't even there. But he's there, he's there all the time. What? Who? Who's there all the time, baby? Tell honey. Who? You feeling all right, baby? Yeah. Now you just remember, ain't nothing gonna happen to you as long as honey's here. And don't you forget it. No, I won't. You always make things better, honey. I'm glad, baby. You're the nice snicker I ever met. You better go on now. What? What's wrong? Just go on. Your folks are waiting on you. Go on. Honey, what's wrong? Just go on. But I... What's the matter? I must be out of my mind. I can't help no white girl just wanders up the road. Joanne? I don't want to in here no more, you hear me? Honey. I don't want to in here no more! Oh, give me a pen. Where are they? Right there. Uh, right, right where? There, there, right there. I declare, you must be blind. What's the matter? Nothing except you useless. What? You're thinking about Joanne. I can't get her off my mind. There may be things you can't change no matter how hard you try. The well she got to draw from is polluted. The folies, they used to control this whole county. Now look at them. Something's wrong over there. Something bad. I know it ain't right. That's what got me worried about her. She ain't got nobody but me. And if I turn away from her, what's she gonna do then? There's gonna come a time when you won't be there to rescue her. She gonna have to do it all by herself. Are you still mad at me? I ain't mad at you, child. But the other day I said something that made you mad. You hurt me. How did I hurt you? I didn't hit you or scratch you. You called me a nigger. So? That word. That word is used to hurt folk like me. There's a lot of words that folk use to hurt you. If you members, you yourself got in a fight at school because somebody called Bobby White trash. Them words hurt you, didn't they? Yeah. That's what I mean. I didn't want to hurt you, honey. I wanted to make you feel good. I figured as much, but it still hurt. I I'm sorry. I, I won't ever do it again. I, I promise. I believe you, child. Don't worry. We's are still good friends. I want you to get Joanne ready. She's going with us. It should be 14 in a week. Can't it wait? No, can't. We've been feeding her for 14 years. Her turn to give a little. Bobby's going too. Another generation of the Foley's. That's right. 
Done in a family business. Not a thing wrong with it. County before. Oh, well, Bristol ain't much. That'll be your first lesson. Never try nothing in your own backyard where they know you. What well, is it exactly what we're going to do? Oh, you'll see, sir. You'll see. Okay, Bobby, you come with me. Joanne, you stay here and you watch the door. When your mama comes out, you pay attention. Whatever happens, don't make a sound here. Be eating bread and water right now. Jail food. I, I don't want to go to no jail. Well, then the next time they fixing to go, you got to use the smarts God gave you and get out of it. Yeah. Oh, no. It, didn't you say that every woman needs an apron to keep her dress clean while she works? Apron around her waist and a song in her heart. Well, ain't I a woman in need of an apron? Well, it don't seem right fitting, seeing as all the work you do around here, you ain't got no apron. Wouldn't take much for honey to put together an apron for you. So I'm gonna get my own apron? When soon? Don't you go rushing me. Apron ain't made in a day. You just have to wait. We don't do nothing. Now, didn't you say that Wade broke that wagon now? <laughs> well, do <dude>, Jesus. <laughs> do you see how blessing me out in my own kitchen? Well, one of these days when the notion come over me, you gonna have an apron of your very own. But till then, you gonna have to make do with what you got. She's full of fuss and feathers like an old setty hen. Gonna sew her fingers to the bone making you that apron and pester me to put up a peg for you to hang it on. <laughs> you know you're right, baby. <laughs> Joanne, you wrote this? Yes, ma'am. This is one of the best compositions I've ever read. <laughs> now, the people in here, they're really your neighbors? No, I, I made that part up. Hey, Bobby. How's school? I hate it. What's that? It's about Joanne. What the hell she do this time? Is she in trouble? Oh, my God. She is going to receive an award at graduation for her composition. What about Bobby? Say anything about Bobby getting an award? No, Foley's never done nothing like this. It better if Bobby was to get it. Well, he ain't. It's my girl that done it. She's going to be the smartest Foley there ever was. No oh, Foley ever made no money out being smart. I'm really proud of you, honey. Thanks, Mama. Maybe when you grow up, you can be a doctor or a lawyer or something like that. Maybe a teacher. Oh, a teacher's good. Nothing but smart, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Get it ready. We're going to the joint. Oh, the, the joint, Paul. She don't even know anything about that. She ain't never really been with a man. Well, it's time she started. Tonight's just gonna be a look see. What if I don't want to? Now, you do what I tell you. You'll be wearing my slap. And don't think you can smarten out me just because you're some kind of fancy pants schoolgirl. You understand? Yes, sir. Well, well, we got 
Hey, Joanne, you're here. Hey, you stay here. I'm gonna send some boys out to have a look at you. You don't let them touch you now, yeah? Okay. What you doing out here all alone? I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm too young to go in. Yeah, I can see that now. And you? Well, I drove some friends here. We're all waiting to get shipped out, and uh, some of us needed to blow off some steam. They get a little drunk, and uh, I get them home. You're a good friend. I think that that's about the most important thing a person can be. You do? What makes you think that? Well. Oh. What's the matter? Just pretend like I'm, I'm not here. Hey, soldier. I'm, I'm looking, Joanne. Know her? No, sir. You're a fine boy. Doing duty and all. Keep it up. Joanne, coast clear. What's your name? I'm Paul. Thanks, Paul. No problem. Oh, no. You excited about graduation? Sure am. Oh, I, I, I can't believe it. It's the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. <laughs> I made it for you. When? I never saw you working on it. When you was at school. Well, here, put it on. Hey, you're gonna wrinkle it. <laughs> you coming, Mama? To the graduation. You want me to come? Yeah. Sure, I'll be there. I wish things would have been different, Joanne, but... Well, they ain't. Congratulations, Joe. How'd it go? Is that your award? Sorry, I couldn't come. Something came up. I don't get all in the mood. I made you that dress, didn't I? So you'd be the prettiest girl in school. You said you'd be there. But 
you lied. Just like you always lie. We got a little something for you. What is it? Surprise. Let me see. Come on. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, honey. I knew that I knew he was going to make that apron for me. Oh, and, and look at these flowers and, and these pockets. I could fit a loaf of bread in these pockets. My name. Mm -hmm. Honey, my name. That's right. Your name. The greatest gift ever, honey. That's exactly how I feel about you, baby. And, and look at that. Look at that. Too tall and put a peg up there for you. <laughs> Thank you, too tall. No problem, no problem. I'm gonna keep my head right here. Till you get a home of your own. I wish that this was my home. Well, come on, y'all. We gotta go. We don't want to be late. Where's my pocketbook? The quartet is saying today, and she don't want to miss any of that. I, I ain't never been to church before. Then you's in for a double treat, because them boys can really say. Why don't you clear for me? Lord, let me hide myself in thee and let the water, the water and the blood from thy wounded side which flowed. Be of sin, Lord, be of sin, a double cure. Please save me from wrath, Lord, and make me pure. Never ever feel that you are alone. God knows. God understands. And never think that Jesus has ever left you. Not for one second. No. And now, how do you know? And how do I know? That Jesus, Jesus, understands my trouble. Mm -hmm. Tell us, Dr. Yeah. Just take a look inside of your bulletins. Take a good look inside. Now that is a man 
that understands suffering. That is a man that in his last days on earth felt abandoned by everybody, even God himself. Praise the Lord. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Now, I don't know about you, but I've said that a few times. Praise God. Said that and a whole lot more. You like that music this morning, huh? I sure did. <laughs> Let me show you something. What's this? It's a hymnal. Every song we sang this morning is in this year book. Even Mark of Ages? Page 32. That's right. Mm -hmm. You already know now how to figure out the words. And if you're a good girl, Maybe Miss Evelyn there teach you how to read the notes. You do that? Surely. Because every woman needs a song in her heart. And, and an, an apron, apron in, in her kitchen. kitchen. That's right. <laughs> now I got the song and the apron. Joanne, why don't you run outside and see how Tutal's doing with that barbecue? All right. <laughs> She's something else, ain't she? Mm, <laughs> she sure is. <laughs> Thank you. You're awful attached to her. Well, now, that's the truth. You think that's such a good idea? What do you mean? I know it's been tough on you all these years since you lost a baby. But don't you think you should think this through a little more? Losing my baby in childbirth didn't have nothing to do with Joanne. I don't mean to rile you. I ain't riled. But she's white. And a foley on top of that. You think I don't know that? I I'm sure you do. But sooner or later, there's going to be a price to pay for you taking her in like this. And it'll be high. Mama. We don't need your mama. I don't want to. Oh, come on. It'll be fine. It's you and me. Teach you to play pool. I don't like the joint, Grandpa. And I don't want to go there. Now, I bought the dress. I spent good money. I like it. It's nice, but I... Don't was... back talk me. Now, put it on. Let's go. I won't! Don't raise your voice to me! No! at all. Just drop a child anywhere. Oh, darling. 
This is it. This is all of it. We got to take her away from them. I ain't gonna let them keep beating this child like this. I ain't gonna stand for it. I just ain't gonna stand for it. That's the truth of it. But they're white. That don't make them right. But it does. You know that. You try and keep that child. They're going to take everything you have, everything you ever worked for. You could start trouble for all of us. Y'all thinking about yourselves. You ain't thinking about the child. We have to think about everybody. Now, what's it going to mean when a poor black woman go into a courtroom with a white child and say, I know better than her folks. I'm going to keep her. They don't even want that child. And they never did. We are the ones who love her. You're going to set white against black in this county. That little girl's going to be in the center, and she is going to get torn to pieces. I think Dr. Joe is telling us that we do more good staying in the background and helping her when we can. And we'll be standing in the back when they lower her in our grave, Tito. Honey, it's the only choice that we have. I can't send her back. Honey. I can't send her back. Honey, honey, honey. <laughs> you have such a pretty voice. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. I didn't mean to wake you up. Teach me to sing like that. I surely will. You look sad. Some things, even old honey can't make better. Like what? I got to take you back to them wicked folks of yours for the second time. What do you mean? Did you ever wonder where that little cross you wear really came from? Yeah. When you was born, I heard you crying. And then I seen him lay something down by the side of the road. Too tall, didn't want me sticking my nose in it, but I knew something was wrong. I can't tell you what happened when I looked in that sack. He was looking at me just like you knowed me. And my heart burst open. And the stars fell out. I didn't know what to do with you, so I took you home. And that's when I gave you that little cross. And I gave you a bath and I wrapped you up. Tootal, he just worried me, talking about, you can't keep her, you can't keep her, you can't keep her. He was right then, and he's right now. I'm going to have to take you back. But what if I don't want to go back? Oh, baby, we don't get no choice. You stay out here. Sooner or later, somebody's going to come out here and bring Tootal and me a mess of trouble. I gotta take you back. But this time, we gotta be smarter than your grandpa. You think we can do that? Sure. We may not have his strength, but we got the brains to beat him, baby. We can beat him. We can beat him. We're just gonna see about this. I'm not gonna let him do you like this. We gonna fix this now. Where, well, where? Well. What happened? I 
find this child wandering around in the woods. She says she belongs here. Something bad done happened to her, but she won't say what it is. Come on in the house, Joanne. We'll fix you up. Must be some kind of a vicious animal. Treat a child like this. Thank you for your kindness. The least I could do. I'm glad that you've been there. It's a shame. It's a dirty shame what you're doing to that child. Now that is enough, nigga woman. You get along now. Yes, sir, Mr. Hank Foley. Look like to me. You'd have had some of that same stuff that happened to that girl. I bet the sheriff find that pretty peculiar. I don't think the sheriff would believe a thing you say, nigga woman. Well, I'm just an old woman. But when you live long as me, you see things. Like a man laying a newborn baby by the side of the road in the middle of the night. It's a thing you never forget. And I tell you something else, Mr. Hank Foley. I ain't gonna be still and let no more babies be hurt. No more! He done made me mad now, Lord. He's mean. He's evil-spirited. Just beat that child. I know vengeance is yours, but when are you gonna start? I'm sorry, Joanne. I'm really sorry. Did Grandpa take me the night I was born? When you come out of me, Mama was real happy for a second. She said, it's a girl, it's a girl. And then he come in. When you come home, I swore I wouldn't let nothing else happen to you in the world. But I messed up. I messed up many times. You're better off without me. You're better off with that junk nigger woman. Her name's Honey. Honey. That's a nice name. She ain't gonna teach me how to say. Is that right? Will you get some sleep now? It's been a hard day. Stay lying there, it'll be all right. Just give me some money. Get the money! Give her some too. Why? We can't travel together. That's exactly what they'll be looking for. Well, you can't leave us empty handed. You look after Joanne, won't you? Surely. What a mercy if this is bad. Mom, are you leaving? Hush, I got no choice. Well, can I come with you? No, it's too dangerous. I'll send for you as soon as I can. How? Man, don't worry about every little thing. Oh, I'll, I'll go to New York. I'll get a, a job there sewing. They pay really good there. 
Maybe I'll get married, but I'll send for you as soon as I can, I promise. But, Mama, what am I going to do? Bobby will be taking you to the joint or some other places. Now, you act like you like those men. There's no harm in that. Some of them are really nice. But, Mama, I can't. Yes, you can. That's just the way it is, Joanne. Yeah, well, maybe for you. But not for me. Joanne, you do what you're told, and everything will turn out all right. Has everything turned out all right for you? Smell good. I let it bake them too long. I'll be certain to let you know if that's the case. What's the matter, child? Why are you cloud up like that all of a sudden? My mama took off. Well, why didn't you tell us about it right off? You know how she is, honey. She talk when she get ready to talk and not a second before. It's gonna get worse over there. I have to make the money my mama would have made. Well, what if you just don't go? Don't go to the joint. I guess I could try that for a while. Grandma and Bobby are already losing patience with me. We got no other way to make money. Well, what if you hide out over here with us? They'd find me. They always find me. I just can't get away from those Foley's. I hate to say this. But what kind of mother would leave her child in the middle of all that? Now, you just wait a minute, too tall. Her mama tried. Her mama was in the middle of that mess over there, too, you know. I'd never be that kind of mother. What kind of mother are you going to be, little darling? I'm going to be a mother just like you've been to me, honey. I'm going to be just like you. Live with us, eat these biscuits now. We don't want them to get cold. <laughs> Where is she? She says she ain't coming. He's waiting for you. I'm not going, Grandma. You could understand something. Sometimes a woman's got to do things she doesn't like in order to get by, in order to make it to the next day. Because tomorrow, the thing you've been waiting your whole life for may happen. But if you don't make it through today, then tomorrow won't be there. But I don't want to. I'm not giving you a choice, Joanne. If you don't go, we don't eat. Isn't there anything else we can do? If there was, don't you think we would have done it by now? Now just do as I say. Right. Sometimes I meet them Hey, Joanne. Hi. You remember? Oh yeah, sure. So what you doing here? I thought you said this wasn't your kind of place. Oh well, it isn't. But uh, well, I, I thought you might be here. <laughs> you still driving your buddies? Oh yeah. But I just got discharged, so this will be my last trip out this way. Hey there, soldier. How you holding up? Fine. Paul, this is Bobby, my uncle. Is Paul your boyfriend? Shut up, Bobby. All right. I see how it is. I'll be waiting outside when you're all ready to go. See you, soldier boy. You just don't spill your root beer on your way out there, Junior. <laughs> your uncle? He's harmless. So did you like being in the army? 
Uh, no, not really. I saw a lot of terrible things. Like what? Uh, friends getting killed. People's lives ruined. You know, uh, the first time we met, I wondered, uh, wondered if I ever see you again. Me too. Yeah. Bobby, get out of here! Leave us be! Joanne, that's not the way. You're my unkind. Blood don't make you my unkind. I've known Paul ten minutes, and he's better than you could ever be. Bobby, get off of him! Stop it! Get off! Oh, my God! There now. You feel any better? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I knew something like this was going to happen. I don't want to curse the family, but the Foley's ain't nothing but bad. I can't take it anymore. I mean it. I got to get out. Do you really mean that? I do. If I stay there, it'll ruin me. What am I gonna do, honey? Y'all take this year. Honey. Well, I can't take that. Yes, you can. He's going to get us baby out of trouble here. We got some friends, men too tall and swanee, and I'm going to call them and tell them that y'all is on the way. They got some good schools there. I done been saving these here. These is your school books. You take them up there and show them how smart you is. Come on, let's get you a new shirt. Maybe I got something to fit you. I probably won't be seeing you for a long time. But I know one day I'm going to look down that road and I'm going to say, can this be that little child I took in? I know you're going to be so pretty. And a lady, too. Listen to me now. God looks past all that pretty. You got to be pretty. But you know that thing, don't you, baby? But, honey, what if the Lord reaches down and takes you in too tall from me before I can come back? Well, if that be the case, I will just sit down on the banks of the river of Jordan and I will tell Peter I can't go because I got to wait on that little child that ain't here yet. It'll be all right, honey. You'll see now. And don't you cry because... Baby. 
Look up. And you'll see me and old two dog smiling down at you. Someday, honey, I'm gonna walk down that path like I always do. And you're gonna see what a good thing you've done for me. And you're gonna see that I turned out just how you wanted me to. I know I will, baby. I know I will. I know I will. You got to go now. Go. Find a home in a pig. <laughs> Did your mother ever come back? No. Didn't really matter, though. My real mother lived down this path. Oh, I can't believe you never told me any of this. You never asked. I never saw much point of it until now. You said something earlier about someone you know, someone who has less than you have. You heard that? You need to know that everything that you have, everything that you, you enjoy, was built on the hard work of the people who lived here. People didn't have your opportunities. Your choices. Still, they found a way to make it work. work on your book? I sure am. <laughs> oh, this is my daughter, Lydia. Lydia, this is Elizabeth. She's the daughter of Ellen and Dr. Joe. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. <gasps> what are you doing here? Oh, I thought you might need me. <sighs> Always. Mm -hmm. Sure did love them some tea, didn't they? They did. I have something for you, Joanne. Here it is. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Thank you. 